Okay, cool. My name is Max Bemis. I sing and uh, play on the record for Say Anything. Okay, um, we, we use a bus and um, it's usually, it's actually not like the cliche rock star bus because there's no like drugs or anything lying around, really. It's just kind of like I'm in the back reading comic books and watching like Gilmore Girls. And then uh, there's a lot of health food. It's kind of like the anti rock star bus. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to some degree, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that we like alter the set in any like you know, you know, concrete way that that can be pegged down. But um, we do kind of. I at least feel the pressure to get out there and put on like an even better show than we would normally because it's like we're competing. People are watching music all day, um, and we want to like give them their money's worth, you know, so to speak. Where it's like you got to stand out. You know. Yeah, I mean, the two things is, like, our shows are extremely physically demanding, and, like, I'm jumping and bouncing around a lot, so I have to, like, maintain, like, I have to, like, stay hydrated and be healthy, and then also, like, it's kind of hard to eat healthy on the road, and I'm, like, a big healthy eater, so I have to, like, make sure I don't, like, wake up in the middle of the night and eat, like, a thing of Oreos, you know what I mean? Because that's not even at my house, you know what I mean? I <laughs> try to stay away from temptation, you know? Okay, the worst advice I was ever given was, like, there was a dude who was, like, going to be my manager when I was, like, 14 years old and I had first started writing music. And I was, like, super intense about it. Like, I called him up and I'm, like, do you, th I was, like, 13 or 14. I'm, like, do you think I can, like, be, like, Bob Dylan or something? And he's, like, I don't know, man. He's, like, he's, like, maybe, but you're, like, 13 or 14. You should be out there, like, hooking up with girls and not thinking about this kind of stuff. And I'm, like... No. And then I, I, I you know, I, I obsessively, like, you know, pursued my career and, like, there were some girls, I guess, and now I'm married. <laughs> but, like, honestly, like, you know, I think if I had, like, been trained to live a more normal life that I, like, you know, if I wasn't so obsessive, then the band wouldn't have gotten anywhere. So I guess that was the worst news, uh, advice I've ever been given. And the best is, like, anything my mom told me, all the cliche, like, mom stuff that she said about you're talented, you're good, where I was like, I'm not, you know, I suck. You know, anything she told me probably qualifies as the best advice. Yeah, I very much so agree with that. Um, you know, I think that the suits, so to speak, are like scrambling, you know what I mean? Like they're looking for anything they can do to make this work, whereas the people who are willing to like get down in the dirt and like be a musician instead of like a, you know, like a pompous rock star, like you're gonna get rewarded. You know what I mean? The more real you are and the better your music is and the more you're willing to put into your job as a musician, you know, and that that's not how it was before it was like, you had to be enabled by your label. You know, you had to like, they would give you tons of money and you would just have to like, do whatever they wanted, at least in my situation. Um, and now like, I'm working with everyone I've wanted to work with and like, I have a great support network and like, but we work harder, you know what I mean? It's like, now that the music industry is kind of like going through a hard time, like, you've gotta be able to like, hold your own. So I think it's, I think it's a great time as well to be music.